Imagine a million Earths and a gateway between them. Imagine four travelers stepping through and never finding their way back home. The same Earth, a different dimension. They call themselves Sliders. Things might get a little weird. Who are you? Where do you come from? We came from Earth. Not this Earth, but a parallel Earth. Chromax, looking for this. Maybe we can't save your world. I have a brother. Once people, I can tell you, we are going home. Hi, I'm Jerry O'Connell, and I will be your host as we take a behind-the-scenes look at the Sci-Fi Channel's original production, Sliders. Now that we're finally home on the Sci-Fi Channel, Sliders is going to have the opportunity to make this series truly remarkable. I'm not from this world, Remy. I'm from a parallel Earth. My birth parents were Sliders. Stay with me, man. Things might get a little weird. I think you have to approach science fiction with either one of two things, humor, or fear. You better move your truck! Citation! Move on! So you get that adventure, you get the drama, you get the lightheartedness. All of it is wrapped up into this one piece of show. Sliders explores the complex theory of space and time. Sliding is loosely based on theories in physics. I mean, I'm not a physicist, but I, I know it, it is a concept that um, Hawkins has been toying with for years. Why does everybody always expect me to have all the answers? Because you usually do. Boy genius Quinn Mallory discovers the key to alternate dimensional travel. Okay, all systems look nominal. He'll have to depend on a trusted team to help him find his way back to home Earth. I have put my life in your hands more than once. I'm betting on you, same as always. I pray to God you're right. It's a human story about a bunch of people trying to overcome obstacles and get home. So I'm suggesting a truce, and we might all get out of here. To the whole world? I can't say that. An alternate Earth, perhaps. Character-driven shows, I think, are much stronger, much deeper. With television, I think that's the formula. I think if you have character-driven shows, the audiences tune in more. That machine is going to open a portal that will take us to another dimension. In here? We have to go, all of us, or we'll be stuck here for a long time. Each week, we travel to the same time and place, but an entirely different dimension. So having the world's largest production facility at Universal Studios, we're really able to create the worlds that the sliders go to. Bon voyage. The whole notion of parallel universes, of alternate dimensions, uh, is a subject that's been explored in written science fiction, in books and short stories before, but never in a weekly series. Ma, my God, it's you. Week after week, the Sci-Fi Channel's original production of Sliders will follow the adventures of these travelers. They'll encounter new worlds, a brutal enemy, and test the bonds of their friendship. Stay tuned for more of the making of Sliders. Only on the Sci-Fi Channel. Sliders. Hi, I'm Jerry O'Connell. Welcome back to the Sci-Fi Channel's special presentation of the making of Sliders. Chromax. My God, what are those things? My worst nightmare. It's soon to be yours. In the spirit of classic science fiction, our heroes will risk everything to defeat a differently evolved race intent on the annihilation of the human species. On most of the worlds that we conquer, the inhabitants offer only minor resistance. 
Their primitive weapons are no match for ours. These humans, however, we killed millions, but they wouldn't yield. The war dragged on for two years, and even though they must have known the battle was lost, they didn't stop. Chemical agents, biotoxins, atomic weapons. The Chromags have conquered countless parallel Earths, and our team of four fearless fighters will chase them through infinite dimensions until they're stopped for good. It's all gone now. My mother, family. These mag devils, they have destroyed our world. When you think about what these people do, if they were real, they would probably be very lonely and tormented people. They're literally homeless. They have no control over where they go or how long they stay there. They're running for their lives. They're watching us. My character, Quinn Mallory, is a physics genius. I invented a device that allows us to pass through a vortex into parallel worlds. He sort of feels very responsible for this whole sliding thing because he's dragged all of these other characters, his brother Colin, Maggie, Rembrandt, into this whirlwind tour. Maggie Beckett is, is tough and strong. <laughs> Finished? <laughs> You are now. Hurry up. It's got to be a, a well-rounded person, not just strictly alone, this tough broad, you know. Look, I may be new here, but I've seen enough bad CEOs in my day to recognize the breed. And you, someone who's helped you has just been hung out to dry. How does that make you feel? Maybe she has a point, team. Maybe we should Out! Try. No! All right. Airlock! <sighs> we had brought Kari Wur on toward the end of last season to, to bring a little conflict into the group. Since when have you become my chaperone? Why take the risk? If the Cormags laid a hand on you, why? Quinn, I didn't know you cared. Sci-fi always portrayed the men as the dominant force. But then there was Emma Peel. Oh, she was sexy and had it going on. And I, I wanted to add a little Emma Peel to Maggie this season. Looking for this. Where are the others? In the Sci-Fi Channel's new Slider series, our characters even get to explore their own inner dimensions. And what's your job on the team? I'm a singer. And into my mind. Here you have an R&B singer, Rembrandt Brown, who's thrown into a situation he has no idea what to do, how to relate when you're dealing with scientific issues. If you do what we do, you have to have an understanding of subatomic particles moving from one place within an atom to another without going through the space in between. I have no idea what the hell you're talking about, and I seem to slide just fine. Me too. The curse is, of course, is that a lot of smart people watch the show and they go, that would never happen. Einstein's theory prohibits this. You have to have at least some basic knowledge of how things work. And to make the show fun for us to write, you need to do a little bit of research and kind of know what's going on and read what the latest breakthroughs in physics are, not only because it sort of makes it, things on the show seem much more realistic to be able to use that jargon and that terminology, but it generates ideas. We wanted to advance the mythology of sliders. So this year, Bill Dial and Mark Scott Zucre and Chris Black and I all came up with this parallel world for Jerry to have actually grown up on. I have a brother. Brother? Since when? And both he and his brother were given up in the face of a coming civil war on their own world. In that world, I'm a scientist. And you see in the first one, I come in in the hand glider. So I'm a scientist like my brother in the show, but I come from a world that there's no technology. Amazing. This is a Wimhurst machine. One of the first gizmos to generate electricity by induction and store it in jars like these. And you invented this? Yes, and everything else in here. My brother's a genius. Yeah, well, I'm happy for you, but we're running out of time here. Marley's ghost. How do you get the numbers to light up like this? Yeah, I'll explain that later. You remember I said I might be able to prove that you're my brother? Well, I was Jerry's brother my whole life, so it wasn't hard to play uh, Jerry's brother on the show. That was pretty easy. 
things that Ray Bradbury and Arthur Clark and Isaac Asimov were imagining 40 and 50 and 60 years ago. Some of them are happening right now. Brother? That's what's so terrific about sliders, is that you are going from world to world every week, and the possibilities are endless. Hi, I'm Kari Wurr. Stay tuned, because there's going to be more sliders action here on the Sci-Fi Channel. Sci-Fi Channel's original production of Sliders will break all the rules. We've got wild stories, non-stop action, and amazing special effects. Action, please. Each new Sliders episode poses a unique challenge for the cast and crew. They have to create a completely different world week after week. Hello! Anybody? Looks like we missed it by a couple years. Think maybe Crow Max? No blast marks, no rubble. They're generally a lot showier. I remember looking up at these buildings and imagining in my mind this futuristic city, and I was thinking, wow, this is it's really cool. It even changes the way I walk. Heard of bio-warfare experiments. So what are you saying? Everything is dead? Not everything. Everything is pretty much planned out. Uh, where you land, uh, how high you're going to jump. When you react to a C-stand with a piece of tape on it, there's a tendency to overdo it. You have a lot of people who are behind the scenes who have pretty much mapped out things for you. What's the matter with you? I'm right here. I think it was my second day that I was on working, and uh, it was my first vortex. We landed from up top with the truck coming from behind us, and then we had to hit the ground, turn around, and they really do make it look great. Once the actors have done their part, the show is far from complete. Weeks of post-production are still needed before you get to the fantastic finished show. I'm not gonna make it. I don't even say anything that sounds like that. Can we be on the ground with plenty of time to spare? You mean the vortex will open up in the airplane? We're gonna have to or we're gonna miss a slide. Is there enough room? What about the stability of the craft? Come on, hurry up! We had our folks being shot down out of an airplane and having to vortex into another world in midair. Then obviously our folks can't jump out of a real airplane, so we create a small mock-up of the airplane itself. Then we have actual skydiving footage. The actors are put on trapeze wires that are very small wires so they can float and be glided in front of a screen. The vortex element that is manufactured by matte artists, and then all three elements are superimposed. The special effects are an essential part of what makes sliders exciting. Magic ship. That's not it. We had to take and create the actual ship from scratch and created what are called isoparms or lines, uh, a wireframe, you'd call it. And from that point, we went and did what's called skinning. We took actual texture off a real plane, uh, painted it up a little bit in a Macintosh using Photoshop. And we also had to create reflections on the glass, uh, shadows on the ground, a heat signature from the engines of the plane. In Genesis, Jerry is running from the Chromax he's going to get shot by a laser blast. We enhanced that in post-production with a visual effect of the laser blast actually coming in and hitting his shoulder at the moment that the squib explodes. Where's Remy? Still at the ATM. Again? The actual vortex itself took us about three months to create it. We had to come up with certain colors, for instance, because uh, if, if the vortex is over water, for instance, it has to be a certain color. If it's over land, it has to be a certain color. And we had to take all these scientific facts into mind when we, uh, we built this vortex. We wanted to make sure that the audience watching the show feels like we're really legit with our reasons and why we color the vortex certain ways. We could literally save this world. 
But there are millions of parallel Earths. What are the odds of finding your home? Better than the odds of beating the cro with a handful of resistance fighters. Now, I can't make decisions for you people, but I know what I gotta do. Stay tuned for more of the making of Sliders, only on the Sci-Fi Channel. Every Sliders episode takes an incredible collaboration of ideas. Every week, our sliders depend on one another in a race against time and space. They search for the dimension called home and face an enemy that embodies our deadliest nightmare. Be smart, kid. Deal with me while you can. Don't make me turn you over to the mags. How does a human being sink low enough to become one of their lap dogs? a chance to find out. I would hope that Sliders is opening up all of our imaginations, stimulating our imaginations, our minds. We've got plenty of action on Sliders, but we also explore some pretty fantastic ideas. Parallel universes are not only possible, but they're probably necessary. So we're investigating something that's not entirely science fiction. It may someday be science fact. It's a fabulous concept, and it's why I originally came onto it, is because it's not like other television shows where you're stuck in an emergency room every episode or you're stuck in a police precinct. It's a different show every week. You were a trained fighter. You tasted combat. And yet you fled your world during our invasion. Are you a coward? I'd already given up flying to be with my husband after he got injured. How human. I hope when people see the show, they have a good time watching it, but realize that something more important is being touched on. Who the devil are you people? Shut up! Easy, Ralph. You bruise him, you don't get your bounty. Now you look. I haven't done anything! Well, that's part of the problem, isn't it? You should go to the police. Not a good idea. What kind of place is this? Why would they take Rembrandt and not us? You were lucky, Colin. You were raised in a world where race didn't make a difference. This show has two distinct sides to it. It's a wonderful social commentary, and the concept of what if, that you go to a certain world, and what would happen if the normal chain of history as we know it had been altered in some way. So this world is totally different. Haven't you seen, heard, haven't you looked around? Hasn't any of this affected you at all? Of course. But what happened, happened. Hey, in science, you can't control everything. Science didn't throw that switch. You did. Hey, Quinn. You didn't have to use that much power. Hey, you just didn't give it. The universe has risks. The universe has no conscience. So we have to let it in. You blew it. I think the, uh, the fans are going to really sit up and take notice this year. I think we're delivering a show that will exceed their expectations. We'll be back. You can count on it. I'm Jerry O'Connell. Thank you for watching our special behind-the-scenes look at how Sliders is made. That's a cut. All the Sliders action doesn't stop here. You can see all the new original Sliders only here on the Sci-Fi Channel.